Sunday the 28th of March. Five months and 27 days until I take on the Bullum and Track Challenge. I just want to jump into how this week's trainings went. I just want to jump into this week, how this week's trainings went. And you can watch the highlights uh, coming up after this. This week has been a strange week. Better than last week, much better than last week in terms of I wasn't stuck on site all week. I was stuck on site for the first couple of days and was able to get out and get some training done. Friday I took on the Hurdy's Front Yard Challenge, which is last man standing event. We go around a 6.8k loop it was uh, on the hour. Every hour you start and off you go. So that's how it ended the week on a high. It's great to catch up with people and see uh, see a lot of friends uh, that I haven't seen in, in way too long since I've done one of the races. Really, really great catching up with people and uh, thoroughly enjoyed the race. Great race, great organised. In terms of the planning and organisation for the Bibbulmun Track Challenge, I haven't, I haven't got a lot else done this week. I still haven't finished my training programme. I still haven't uh, got around to putting a plan in place for what support and what crew I need, timelines, uh, how long I'm planning to do the event over, all them things still haven't happened. So it's, uh, there's still a lot to organise. I'm very cautious now that it was what, six months and a couple of weeks whenever I announced this. So now we're down into the five months and, and it's starting to slip away slowly. If anything, the race uh, over the weekend showed me just how much of a huge challenge it's going to be, uh, 128k, before things started to get sore yesterday uh, and Friday. So that's a, that's a long way uh, to go after that. Now, part of that race, uh, my goal going into it was as soon as things started to hurt and as soon as I needed to uh, as soon as I felt that it was sore I was my plan was always to stop because my big focus is is raising this uh, awareness for dementia and, and completing this challenge I suppose it just showed me just how huge of a challenge this is uh, it scared me a bit last night I'm not gonna lie uh, thousand kilometers I just don't don't know if I I can do it I definitely don't know if I can do it in the 14 days that I have uh, booked off work so I might have to have a look at that again but hey I'm uh, I'm all in I'm going to come up with a plan uh, on just how, how I'm gonna train for it first of all to how the body's gonna hold up my right knee very sore yesterday whenever it did start to get sore I'm hoping it's just a case of tight quads and tight calves and pulling on the knee in either direction but it was an unusual uh, different pain so how the body is going to hold up for a thousand K is yes yeah, huge uh, if you happen to be a local chiropractor or local uh, physio I'd love to hear your thoughts on that and anything you can help because that's really one thing that's, that's frightened me out of it. Nutrition is the other thing. How do I eat for that many days uh, without getting really, really sick of it? Uh, 20 odd hours yesterday and I was sick of the same stuff over and over again. So that's going to be a challenge I need to get in place. So look, they're all the things that really going to be challenging me over the next few months to try and solve uh, problems or try and put a plan in place to help me through it as i said uh only a couple of days recording uh, this week during the during the actual week so if you want to jump in and, and watch uh, how the trainings went this week continue on as always really appreciate your support if you'd like to donate there's a link in the description head over and uh, leave, a, leave a donation, leave a comment, whatever it is, just so that it keeps me uh, keeps me motivated and keeps me going through this, uh, this training phase and also most importantly it raises awareness of the families that's still out there 
struggling with uh, dementia in their families on a daily basis. So please, if you have a story, uh, head over to the Facebook page, leave your story on how dementia has affected a family or loved one, how dementia has affected somebody in your family, throw it out there so that people are aware just uh, just how devastating this, this disease can be. Hope you enjoy this week's video and uh, thanks for the support. Welcome back everybody, Wednesday morning, uh, about 6.30 a.m. Back in the real world as you can see, which is nice for me. That gives me about an extra hour and a half, two hours a day, which is easy to use for training. Back at it this morning again, hopped off the train, kind of 12k before work. Halfway through that run now this morning. How have I been feeling? Uh, the video last week I think probably showed that I was uh, tired, overworked, probably a little bit stressed I suppose. I don't really do stress but certainly I felt the uh, workload last week I would say. Thursday the 25th, six months exactly today to kick off the Bibbulm and Track Challenge. 1000k, woo, 1005. Uh, so I suppose it's time to try and build that consistency, really. Apologies for the abrupt end yesterday. That's what happens whenever the battery dies. How is it going so far? Uh, they started to say yesterday, back in the real world. Got my 13k up yesterday between the 12 in the morning and the k home in the evening. It's good to be back running again. Especially in the real world, up on camp I had a few treadmill sessions and a round around loop. It wasn't the most exciting but nice to be back, able to step into a, my routine again and start early morning. So still getting up at half four but at least I'm getting up at half four to train. It's amazing the difference between getting up at half four to train and the difference of getting up at half four to work. So yeah, uh, I just want to show you a little glimpse of what I can see this morning in terms of sunrise. Looks like it's going to be a nice one. Just creeping over the hill. Very nice. So how have I been feeling? Uh, I felt like I was losing my fitness. Not getting the consistency in. Very much plan was always to start back nice and steady. Try and get that heart rate low, like I said a couple of weeks back. Trying to find that place between slow and just pushing a little bit more. Uh, heart rate starting to come down, resting heart rate still around 43, 44. So a little bit higher than whenever I'm peaking, but Certainly not in a bad position. Seemed to have got over a little bit of a head cold and all I had a week or so ago. Haven't had much done in terms of the planning for the Delirious West. Hopefully things will quiet down a little bit. No, I have booked into Purdy's front yard, which is a 6.7k I think, loop around the lake uh, here in WA and it's the last man stand type event. Never done one before so that'll be interesting at the weekend. My plan is to try and uh, see how far I can go I suppose but I would like to get up kind of 60 plus k considering where I am certainly the main thing will be that I don't pick up injury and that I don't affect that consistent training. So it's more just to catch up with a few people, be involved. I haven't been down at one before, so it's uh, 
yeah, looking forward to that. It should be really good. Let's see how the rest of the week goes. Friday the 26th of February here at Herb's Race. Uh, WA to last man standing event. Just set up. Got my little uh, Got my little bed here if I can get some time to sleep in between uh, laps. So it's a just under a 7k lap with some sleep time. On the hour you start the laps, that's when I stand the Should be good. Everybody else setting up their tents. And the gazebos for the start line. is to so the race starts at four try and get I don't know maybe 70 80 k up 90 k up this week has been much done take in the atmosphere uh, leave it not injury free uh, I've never done one of these lap things before so it'll be a new experience but uh, certainly it's got the making of a good race uh, main focus no injuries making sure I can continue on training uh, next week so this is really just under six months out from the, the six months out from the Ray or six months out from the Delirious West challenge this is really the kickoff of it I suppose so try and make sure no injuries keep them feeling fresh before we go into that training block nice way to kick it off nice race Everybody busy getting set up and doing what they need to. Oh, 
This is really nice. Yeah, it is nice. Hmm. Park a hooker, lap one. <laughs> 31 <laughs> Female is Nancy Shaw, lap one. 37 minutes flat. There is times to beat. <laughs> Okay, uh, how am I feeling? Not too bad. Left, left cap, a little bit tight. Very interesting to see how everybody is kind of got their own little strategies, their own plan. Some people trying to get the race or the lap done quicker. First lap for me was 42, 18 minutes before the next one. Uh, yeah, it's hard to know whether to pick it up, walk a little bit more, run a little bit more. I'm not really sure why my calf is kind of season up so early. Interesting, but been through the like that before, so know how to manage it for now. Uh, beautiful course, flat, constant asphalt's a bit of a Bit of a bleh, but hey, kind of everything, gorgeous scenery, uh, summary, something like that. And yeah, good company. First lap, a little bit spread out in the second lap. Bit of a gap, but that's okay. The sun's starting to go down, but I'll leave it a little bit cooler for the next lap, which will also be good. And I'm starting to feel a bit hungry. Might have to eat more whenever I get through. But okay. lots of uh, lots of people out. Plenty of people on the course as well. It's not running, which is nice. This is without doubt one of the nicest little patches in among the trees. Really good. Feels quite special running through them. I see it from this angle. The sun coming through the trees. Really nice. Ooh. 
Well, I should get the 15k anyway. One, three, four. Lap three. Twenty two K. Scratch out twenty K. Look at that sunset. Wow. Just trying to keep the heart rate down. Coming up to 6 a.m. in the morning, uh, about 2k away from 100k, so still moving. Right knee is very sore, so we'll uh, see how many more we get done. Two minute buzzer. A lot less scary during the day. Oh, nearly 104k up. Uh, feeling. Ooh, how am I feeling? Feeling not terrible. Uh, right knee gave me a little bit of grief. But all in all, not too bad. Uh, yeah. Start of the night I thought about the first KDK was averaging around about the 38 to 40 minutes for the loop. Last couple has been about 42, 43. <coughs> wow that'll be the lungs and the body from yesterday so how did i do i uh tracked up 126k before well not 
126 before my knees started to get sore. I clapped up about probably 90 before my knees started to get sore and then I pushed on a little bit more until I got to the point where I knew it was just time to stop and I always said uh, the body would know when it was time to stop. My main goal was that I didn't lose any training time this week and I didn't injure anything uh, or break anything. So from that point of view it was an awesome race for me.